mean, you know, so, go, so, go, so, go, go around, you go around the barn if you see the camera. Okay, yeah. Sorry. Um, what do you mean by that? Well, we're just having more conversations. Uh, I said, going around the barn, just keep having conversations. Are they useful conversations? Probably depends on who's, who's uh, to you? Are they evaluating. To you? Um, I mean, look, I think I think you still have a lot of the same underlying concerns. I've been pretty vocal about my concerns about what happened yesterday was not indicative of what I, I want. So, um, you know, I just made it clear, you go to the floor, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be uh, with um, Steve on the floor. So we sort this out as family or, or, uh, or I, you know, I'd say we shouldn't go to the floor. Can, can, can Jordan go to two, get to 217? We'll figure that out. What's can that? Jordan get to 217? Well, that's, that's not the question at the moment. The question at the moment is, is, is uh, you know, Steve's votes yesterday. Um, he did get the majority of the votes. I'm happy to keep having a conversation behind closed doors. Um, not like that's some sort of nefarious thing, closed door, but as a, as a Republican conference, like we're doing. And um, and figure it out, and uh, I think we should do that. But as I said yesterday, I wouldn't I wouldn't vote yesterday. Um, uh, if we went to the floor, I won't today. I won't. Uh, and I've made clear I'm not. If we go to the floor, I'm not. I'm not going to be Michael there. Michael McCall said to today, along with some other Republicans who came out of there, pretty frustrated that there's a concern that the world is like really dangerous right now. There's like multiple conflicts. Everyone yeah. is like, we've, this house does not have a speaker. This chair is empty. That's a danger. That it's getting more yeah. dangerous every day. Are you guys like? What point do you just have to? You know, um, do a temporary speaker or something, a pr temporary pro tem. Look, that's, a, that's more of a, um, generally speaking, uh, you know, palace intrigue, swamp concern. Um, the average American going about their daily life is, you know, not hanging on bated breath, everything we're doing in this room or when we come out and talk. Um, you know, the whole universe doesn't resolve around this building. If something happens, we can act. I mean, that's just the bottom line. I mean, and, and we can, we can, you know, you can temporarily empower the the speaker pro temp. You can you can do anything with the majoritarian you body you choose that? to do. It. What was there talk about doing that? Empowering no, there's the no country? talk about that. We're trying to figure out how to choose a speaker. My point is, the, the the high you know stakes drama that is trying to be pushed out there about. Oh my gosh, there's world events going on. Uh, so therefore, just pick any pilot for the plane. You guys want to hop aboard a plane, and I just go grab the guy off the you know row 11 and say, you saddle up, you're in the seat. Uh, that's not a good model. So we need to figure out what we need to do. Let's pick the right speaker. Let's unite and, and move forward. Are you on the I'm getting list. more height here. Hi. Um, <laughs> um, was anything in there that you heard something that swayed you? And what are your questions right now? I, I um, have been clear about my concern about what happened yesterday. And frankly, the reaction by some of the people that were, I think, you know, look, I, I want to be very clear. There were some good friends of mine who were on the opposite side of, of the whether or not we should have modified the rules yesterday morning question. That's fine. Reasonable people can disagree. But again, the way it occurred was very swampy. And um, that gave me a lot of pause. And so that that has not been assuaged. Um, there's, look, uh, we all, I, I love Steve. I mean, I'm praying for him. I, um, I, think, I think very highly of him. Um, but we, we've got to... Nobody in America wants the, this trajectory. And so just it strikes me, it was, it was already an uphill climb when you're talking about going from uh, Kevin to next man up, or next, next person up, uh, in terms of the leader. That was already an uphill climb. And you throw in yesterday and walking out of the room without an agreement, that was not a good first step. On Glenn Beck, so you, you asked for people to call in, yeah, Republicans to call in. Well, Glenn asked me if I thought yeah. they should call well, in, and I said, sure. Said, yeah. Yeah. Are you hearing from anybody that they're getting calls? Uh, well, we've been in this most of the time since then. So, yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't know. I wouldn't have a comment on it. But okay. my what, guess is, yeah. What kind of policy assurance are you looking for from the next speaker? What do you want to hear? Well, I mean, we uh, what we've been talking about, I mean, look, I know where the American people are. They want us to deal very much with the spending problem. They want us to deal with the wide open border. They want us to make sure that if we're going to, uh, provide aid that it be you know offset and not just a wide open you know supplemental that uh, that would be smart about providing aid to, to Israel and not let them tag Ukraine on it without having a full and open debate about Ukraine. These are all the things that people back home are talking to me about and that I'm trying to represent and those are the issues that we're talking about in there and and uh, look I think we can rally around those issues but 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 the question here is about changing the direction of this town. That's the question. Are we going to change the direction of the town? That's what is first and foremost to me right now. Thanks, guys. Do you think there should be a preliminary vote today? Um, I mean, I offered an amendment along those lines yesterday. You guys going to be here this weekend? What's that? You going to be here this weekend? 